In case you didn't know, we currently live in an absolutely crazy world where Fiona Bruce of the BBC has now been cancelled by the same left-wing liberals who've been supporting her and the BBC. Why? Absolutely no reason. So I'm going to tell you in this story, in this video, what's been going on in case you missed it. Basically, you have Fiona Bruce, who has been uh, hosting uh, BBC's Question Time, which nobody watches anymore. I'm not really sure why that's still going on. And so people on the right have been critical of her for the way the show operates, especially the audience full of left wingers. And but she's tried her best to be a good referee as the host. So, you know, have all the left wingers, right wingers debating on a panel. She said something basically uh, one of the episodes recently. And I'm going to put the video on. And she basically well, they were talking about Stanley Johnson, the, the Boris Johnson's father and domestic abuse. And um, this happened. For a change, I'm not, uh, I'm not blaming Boris Johnson or Stanley Johnson. Actually, Ken, he was a wife beater, Stanley Johnson, on record. Um, okay, let me. Okay, so Yasmin Alabo Brown, left wing columnist and whatever she is, she decided to say this. Look at Ken Clark's face. <laughs> so saying that um, it's 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 in record that uh, it's on record that um, Stanley Johnson is is a wife. Peter, apparently and so that obviously there's been a lot of uh, historical stuff and incidents about that all Fiona Bruce did was to be uh, impartial and professional and objective for once and she said this just let me just interview I'm not I'm not disputing what you're saying but just so everyone knows what this is referring to so Stanley Johnson's uh, wife spoke to a journalist Tom Bauer and she said that Stanley Johnson had broken her nose and, and she yep. ended up in hospital as a result Stanley Johnson has not commented publicly on that. Friends of his have said it did happen. It was a one-off. Yes. That's it. So obviously it could have happened. It might have not happened. The whole point is that's the story. Fiona Bruce just had to clarify, especially for those who don't know the story. That's all she did. Now, we're not even talking about Stanley Johnson here. We're simply talking about Fiona Bruce. So what did the, the left wing side, because um, Yasmin and Lavoie Brown is going to come back in, and they've decided to cancel her because they said, you basically decided to gl um, uh, glamorize uh, domestic abuse <laughs> by not slamming and criticizing Stanley Johnson. But it did happen. Anyway, <laughs> what I think is it's not Stanley Johnson or Boris Johnson that oh my God. bothers me. They are who they are and they do what they do. They think this kingdom is their fiefdom. Oh dear. But it's the system. Anyway, that's the story. We need to look at a system where these... Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll look at the system, Yasmin. Anyway, what happened afterwards was massive outrage from the woke mob against one of her, one of their own. <laughs> so the left always ends up in, eating itself. And it's a perfect example. They pushed Fiona Bruce so much that they've cancelled her up to a point where she's had to now resign from as, as an ambassador to the charity Refuge. Refuge is there for women and children against against domestic violence. So that's the job of the, the charity. And Fiona Bruce was, until now, the ambassador for this organization. Very good cause. Absolutely brilliant. But because of what she had to do, because of her job on the BBC, on BBC Question Time, to be objective, to say, by the way, let's clarify what we know. One side said this, the other one said this. We don't have proof. Done. They basically claim that she's taken Stanley Johnson's side. Are you kidding me? So, announcing her decision on Monday, Fiona Bruce said that last week on Question Time, I was required to legally contextualize a question about Stanley Johnson. Uh, those words have been taken as an expression of my own opinions, which they are absolutely not, and as a minimizing end of domestic abuse, which I would never do. Obviously, why would she ever do that? I have been a passionate advocate and campaigner for all survivors of domestic abuse and have used my privileged position as a woman in the public eye to bring this issue to the fore, notably in my work for over 25 years with Refuge. But following the events of last week, I have faced a social media storm, <laughs> much of which um, um, mischaracterized what I said and took the form of personal abuse directly at me. Therefore, I resign as an ambassador to refuge. This is so sad. Also, I'm criticizing Fiona Bruce. Why? Why are you surrendering? Why are you caving into the mob rule mentality? This is exactly what they want. Never apologize. Never explain if you haven't done anything wrong. Do not resign. 
do not uh, try to say, well, I apologize. And firstly, she says, absolutely right, that it was a social media storm. I didn't do anything wrong. Fine. Why do you have to stand down? Why do you have to basically, uh, by doing this, you're showing that they are right. That, yes, she resigned. That means she knows she's a villain and she has to go. This is embarrassing. You cannot keep surrendering to this mob rule mentality. Because also for those who sometimes apologize, you know what they do? They kick you when you're on the floor. They're not going to accept the apology. They don't want the apology. They want to humiliate you. They want to completely take over the narrative. They want to completely bring down the culture, the Western culture. That's what they want. Everything will change. Authoritarianism will come. Free speech will completely go away if you allow these people to keep winning these battles. And yeah, some people are going to say I'm exaggerating. But we've been saying this for the past six, seven, eight years. Nothing has changed. It's just going to get worse and worse until there's an actual backlash. Anyway, let me know what you guys think if you agree with me or disagree. I'm Maya Tusi and we are the media.